Hi, beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Sagittarius, I know it's been forever since I did the last readings. Uh, my boy has been sick, but now he's well and fine and back at daycare. So now I can do these readings again. So with that said, uh, I also want to say, because I don't know the name of the beautiful person who recommended me this buy me a coffee site. I love everything about it. I adore it. And I just started my account there. If you want to check it out, I don't want to take up any more time. I just want to say thank you to that person. I don't remember who it was. Um, um, if you want to check it out, uh, please do. It's I posted it in the description box down below. Sagittarius, what is going on for you for the time frame, which is <clears throat> towards the end of October until the end of November of 2021? Do you guys understand that we're closing into the end of 2021? Amazing. Okay, it's going to be an overall energy here. And we're just going to go deeper and deeper into that energy, into the message for Sagittarius. And you're going to have plenty of time to figure out if this is your reading or not. To then decide if you want to come with me into the extended reading, extended message of this message to go even deeper. Sagittarius, what is going on for you? sudden itch <laughs> maybe you have a sudden itch for something Sagittarius maybe I need to get something off, off my chest before uh, we're really gonna get into your reading and that is, I am planning to have as many people as want to join uh, for a big meditation on the 24th of October. And I'm going to I'm gonna post that in the community uh, section, maybe on the Buy Me a Coffee site as well. Uh, a big meditation. There's thousands and thousands of people across the globe that's going to come together in a meditation on the 24th of October to release the old paradigm, come into the new one. And mainly focus on freedom. If you want to participate in that. So that's out of my system now. Can we tell Sagittarius something now? Is that what was in the way? Sagittarius for the upcoming month. that was a hold up it really is taking some time here there you go wow yeah i've been saying it um since what reading i don't know i mean sagittarius you're up in the in the later end of all the signs that i'm doing and you're getting so i just did uh the scorpio reading and the scorpio reading had the exact same overall energy card that might come out different things but it's the overall card that came out and i actually compared this card to another card that looks so similar for virgo uh, and it's just a big feeling of then i did the libra reading that felt like it was a collective reading there's so many similar things in the readings right now and i've been saying it for a while that it feels like every every sign is becoming a, a collective like it's, it's like we're just sort of joined more and more together and it's like this almost the same message for all it's going to be a little bit like different and a little bit de more detailed in one direction and a more detail in another direction but it, i feel like it has the same core here so you're getting the same card this is movement forward we have a lot of connection here with the animal kingdom it, it's very fiery it's very like we're going for it we're not holding back. I feel like this is a very powerful card. The rainbow is playing a part in it. So there's a lot of connection taking place. Connection left and right with the truth. Why is this here for 
Sagittarius, please. I'm seeing Aquaman. <laughs> With that thingy that he has, um, his tool. I don't know what do you say? Triod in Swedish. Aquaman, I see a swan. That's, I don't know why that's coming through now. Okay, why is this here for Sagittarius, please? This is also taking a little bit of time to get out here. So Sagittarius, you might be feeling like you're waiting on something. You're waiting for a shift. You're waiting for this big movement. Waiting for a big move. Waiting to, waiting to get clarification. Waiting to understand and get clear around something. Because this usually is not at all how long it takes to get cards out. And this, the minute I had that message being delivered, the card came out. And it's breathe. It's meditation. Right now, it feels like you need to get into... I, I, I just have to say, though, um, first, before... I see this almost like a UFO. There's like this uh, ship this disc, this um, platform, if you will, that is sitting like on top of the stars. It just feels like it's just right out in the stars. And then I'm getting like meditation, like it's really important at this stage, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing Sagittarius, you will benefit from, me benefit from meditation right now to go into, st however that looks for you, go into stillness, Shut your phones off, shut your electricity off, anything that's Wi-Fi so that it doesn't disturb you. And then just go inwards. Why is that? Can we clarify that? Why is that here for um, Sagittarius, please? I mean, obviously meditation always benefits, but it feels like it's for a very specific reason right now. You're really going to stillness so that you can get clear and get more like communication with the universe. Being in absolute coherence with the universe. Being in absolute co coherence with your wishes right now. You're waiting on something. You want something to take place. But where are you in relationship to it taking place? Are you in alignment with it happening? Are you in... Are you like... Uh, um, um, what do you call that? Are you part, are you participating? Like, are you a, do you cooperate in this, in this situation? Do you just wish for something and then you do the complete opposite? Or are you doing everything in your life that sort of speaks against that this would take place? Can you get into meditation so that you get more in alignment, more in balance within yourself so that you are a greater match to what it is that you're asking about right now? Or this big movement or this big move. Why is the meditation card here? Mm. Solitude, the solitude card and uh, patience and planning. I'm actually getting that I should read out the book for this one. I don't know if I've ever... Yeah, maybe I have. Okay, so before I say anything, I will read out of the book. Number nine, Solitude. Stop. Your soul is calling out... Your soul is calling out and needs to be honored and heard. The answers you seek aren't necessarily found in the outer world. <laughs> okay, I understand why I'm supposed to read it. Uh, it's not necessarily found in the outer world. 
The time has come for you to step back and withdraw from outside commotion. The solitude card is a reminder of how important it is to pause, still the mind, meditate. Oh my God. Uh, still the mind, meditate, reflect, reevaluate, and discover the wisdom. Uh, the wisdom answers within the very soul of your being. When you become more aware of your soul and heart, you strengthen the link to the divine source and you're able to once again remember your true perfection. Meet your soul halfway. Exactly. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meet your soul halfway and schedule some alone time to commune with your soul and also to give the power of spirit the opportunity to reinvigorate um, you with life force and vitality uh, conserve your energy and deal with one thing at a time as you follow the prompts from within when it comes to the moments of quiet inner solitude it really isn't about quantity it's the quality that counts there's so many things i want to say the soul constantly draws to itself what it needs in order to learn and grow. For example, during this period, someone may step into your life and by sharing his or her own experiences, you may receive helpful insight and wisdom into your own. Um, yeah, so this is talking, this is exactly what I said. Like, it's so important right now that you go into meditation and that you turn, like, it's not quantity, it's quality. As you see, if it's just five freaking minutes, everyone has five minutes out of their I don't care how busy you are and I don't care what label you have or how important you are or whatever. Um, everyone has five minutes. Even if it's in the bathroom, you have five minutes to yourself. And as you go into those five minutes or 10 minutes or, or 15 or 30, to switch the phone off, to switch everything electric around you off. So that for that moment in time, you can't be reached and you can't be bothered. You can't be disturbed in any way. You're just with you and you alone. To just still the, the nervous system and calm yourself down. And, and put, that's what I also said. Like that's what they talked about. Uh, that's when it becomes clearer that you can connect with the with the divine source to reconnect with your divine source and i said um okay so maybe so there's this big movement or this big move uh maybe there's a lot on your plate and you ask for a lot of stuff and you ask for how you want it to be but where are you in relationship to what you're asking about are you doing something like are you off and you're just having a gazillion things in your head and you're just not a match to what you're asking for, meditation is the solution. And we're repeating exactly that in the, in the book. And this is not a time for outside influences really to get the better of you. It's time to withdraw and go within. So, wow. And then we have patience and planning. And the patience is literally, it's coming out there again. It's coming out in the sense that patience you already needed patience because it took forever to get the first card and it took forever to clarify it. So there's something that you need, you need to practice your patience right now and you need to practice that everything in all good time or all good timing. Like everything will work itself out. The seasons, like it doesn't matter how much you kick and scream, we're changing seasons. Like the, the, the seasons are here in Sweden, at least in, in the north. Um, you know, we've, we've gone from, from um, summer to fall and we're going to have that shift and we're going to have it whatever you think about it. Like if you're happy we're having this shift or you're sad we're having this shift, it doesn't matter because the shift is going to take place. So, so there's something about, okay, so what you can control, by all means, control it. But what you cannot, I would just find some quiet time and just sort of release that release that release that and just get on there's i'm all about uplifting people i'm all about inspiring people but this might sound a little bit harsh i have to admit there's something about okay 
and this might just be for one or two people, but there's something about like, stop complaining about your situation and look at how fortunate you are. Stop complaining about your situation and look at how fortunate you are. Look at what you get to have in your life. Look at what you get to do. And if you are going to say, well, I, I don't have time for myself. I don't have those five minutes. And if I'm in the bathroom, somebody's going to knock at the door. Or like, I'm so freaking busy. Or I'm working my ass off. Or I am, you know. If you s just switch, if you just literally switch that inner view, inner perspective to start to say, I get to work this much. I get to have these people in my life. I, I am... I am that accomplished and that capable that I'm in this situation, whatever that is. And there's a little bit more, I, I'm getting, so patience and planning, and there's something where the seasons are shifting, whether you want them to or not, but also the seasons are shifting. Like there will be a time where whatever you ask for in com combination with qu quality of meditation Whatever you ask for in combination with quality of meditation will lead you from, if we look at this, we have like a blueprint here. We have a sketch. You've, you've been sketching on something. You've been wishing for something. With seasons changing, you're going to come into the full manifestation of it. But you're going to have to have patience and you're going to start to be grateful for the situation that you're in rather than drained and ungrateful and lackful and overwhelmed by the situation that you're in um yeah i'm sorry if somebody what was trampled on their toes a little bit uh yeah the seasons will shift that's the thing the seasons will shift so you will see a shift in this whatever that is about the sketch will come to fruition Patience and planning, right? There was something also about like, okay, we need to, you need to have like a, the more clear schedule you have, even though it sounds so silly to schedule a bathroom break. I don't know why I'm con constantly coming back to the bathroom, but um, maybe that's just sanctuary. Maybe that's like the only place where you go in and you lock the door and it's like, oh, for the love of God, <laughs> just a breathing moment here. <laughs> um, um yeah, to plan, so you have a job and, and perhaps you're planning something around the job or you have like a, if you're working out, there's a, you know, there's a session with this and that going on and, and you're, you're scheduling stuff around it. You're scheduling meeting people and so forth. You need to schedule alone time. You need to schedule your, you need to schedule time for your emotional body as important as if you were to go into any work meeting you know you will cancel anything out if you say okay at four o'clock i have my i have my work meeting it should be as important that, that you say at five o'clock i have my emotional body meeting i have my emotional body meeting ebm ebm at 5 p.m <laughs> i'm trying to rhyme here ebm at 5 p.m um you need some alone time you need to you need to plan it as importantly as anything else maybe even more so somebody comes in your boss comes in if you have a job where you have a boss and they come in and they say at three o'clock is that is that possible to schedule a meeting or schedule whatever they want to schedule and you go in to look at your schedule and you have put in uh your your ebm your emotional body moment your your Emotional body moment. Did I say that? Emotional body meditation, perhaps. Um, and you see that being in the uh, in the calendar. You should go. No, I'm busy then. That's how important it is for you right now to have this solitude meditation. These are quite similar if you look at them. A time with yourself. I'm going to move this into the extension and see what else I can find there for you. I promise I won't yell at you anymore. <laughs> um, if you feel intrigued, 
resonating, even though it sounds a little bit hurtful, you're so welcome to the extension. The link to that is in the description box down below. If not, thank you so much for watching Sagittarius. I hope to see you soon.